guys, Andrea Mills here. Today is my monthly shopping trip, Judah. What? I just realized that I forgot my little note card on my desk that I was writing down all the shoe sizes and stuff on. Okay. Would you go get it? All of the boys need new shoes, so I had made a list of all their sizes and a few other random things that I um, wanted to get today. So <laughs> thankfully I noticed that I hadn't grabbed my list, so he's gonna grab it. But um, so today I'm gonna go to Walmart. I go to Walmart once a month, and or I try to only go once a month, but it's really hard to get everything in the cart. Um, we're a family of 10, so I, no, it was a little note card. Okay, I don't need that other thing. Thank you. It just looks like <laughs> Thank you, bud. Um, See so ya. Yeah. Anyways, so I do my orders online first at walmart.com and put as much stuff as I can in the cart there. And then um, that way I can get everything I need without having to put it all in the cart. And I really like to get the big stuff there like the big boxes of chips and toilet paper and stuff like that and paper towels because they are so bulky in the cart but this month somehow it seems like I got lots of little things but I couldn't get all the big stuff so um, I'm not sure how this is gonna go hopefully I can get it all in the cart so um, I'm gonna be going to Walmart we're also gonna stop at Office Depot because I'm still working <laughs> see ya I'm still working on um, finishing my KonMari decluttering and I'm I'm on the last step which was the sentimental items and I had bought a file cabinet to put in our attic for all of our keepsake things for the kids and school records and things like that and so I need some box bottom file folders and we were in Office Depot the other day Tom and I but they were all out so I'm gonna check again today and see if I can get some and we're gonna stop by the um, Joanne Fabrics and Crafts because um, I need to get some, I don't need to, but I want to get some fabric for some little things we're going to be making later this month. And Asher would like to make himself a big pillow for his bed. So he um, ordered some dark green fabric. He says he just wants plain fabric. Doesn't want any camo or anything like that. And then, um, what else? Oh, we have a little um, cardboard treasure chest box that I bought. Oh, and I forgot to put that. I forgot to put something else on my list. Um, hopefully I remember by the time I'm done talking. The, anyways, I, the box I got, um, was from Oriental Trading, and it's cardboard, and it came with prizes, but I don't, I don't necessarily want the prizes. They're not that great, so that's what I needed to put on my list, is new prizes. Um, but I did like the box, because it's a nice, sturdy box, and the shape looks like a treasure chest, but I would like to fix it up a little bit so because I think that we'll probably keep this as a more permanent addition to the household so since on our normally on Tuesday nights we have game night and we always have a prize so I thought it'd be nice to have it for our regular prize box for here from here on out so I'm gonna get some paper um, hopefully to decorate up the box and make it look a little bit nicer I think that's it the only other big thing coming up um, this month that I actually need to buy stuff for it's Claudia's second birthday um, right at the beginning of August but I already ordered the stuff for her party probably two weeks ago um, so you don't get to see that you'll just have to wait till the party <laughs> but uh, I was afraid it wouldn't come in time if I waited till my monthly order time so I went ahead and ordered everything for her party and I still need to get presents though so I'm gonna look at Walmart and find her a few little birthday gifts today we're gonna be going on a trip in August but I'll probably just wait until that gets closer and see if I need to buy anything which I doubt I will but maybe snacks or something I don't know but um so I guess that's about it so we're gonna head out and I'll probably stop and get some lunch once we get over there I'm not even sure what time it is must be about 1 30 right now so um, I'll stop and get lunch and then we'll stop at all those other places and then our last stop will be Walmart and I'm going to back up on the way and um, show you what I ordered ahead of time so you guys can see what I already ordered and then we'll carry on from there. See you guys on dark green. You want dark green shoes? And red dots on. Dark green with red dots. I'll see what I can do. Um, like just red dots. Fine. They don't have tan, but I don't want to get brown. Mm. 
because okay no brown but you'd like tan or day or black tan. yeah or gray or gray yeah. all right we'll see you guys i'm gonna go out downstairs thank you for the hug oh hug and a high five let me put my phone down just a second and my keys there we go children for his brother now it's chore time as I'm leaving here and Thomas is cleaning up the boys' room. Mom, Mom, I can do this with the other way. You can. By holding it like this. That's amazing. website has this little thing now where it shows all of my past things I've ordered and I can just go back and add them to my cart so I'm really liking that. Okay so it looks like my total is going to be $189.33 from Walmart here and I'll show you what we're getting. Some scotch tape refills, those are $5.88 for a box of four. Some um, foam plates, those are the kinds that have little dividers in them to keep food separate. Getting one for $3.26. I'm um, getting a couple of bags of potting soil so I can keep working on my medicinal herbs and those are $4.27 each. Uh, we need rabbit food for the bunny so it's $8.98. Um, baby wipes. This is a box of 800 wipes for $13.47. A box of 36 AA batteries for $14.97. Um, toothpaste for $2.97. A uh, two pack of deodorant for three ninety seven. Um, these are for the snack basket, four dollars for a box of twelve. These are the double sized um, spaghetti sauce jars, and then they're a two pack. So this is the equivalent of four regular sizes or regular jars of spaghetti sauce, and they're five seventy eight. Um, we're getting some cupcakes for the snack box. Those are uh, two ninety seven a package. Some peanut butter crackers for $5.98. These are the really big things, 27 packs. A um, couple of cans of cherry pie filling for $2.23 each. Um, a packet of four packs of Hidden Valley Ranch dip mix for $4.58. Three packs of um, ramen noodles, and those are $1.94 each. Um, did I already have these on here? Oh no, these are the other ones. These are just regular um, paper plates for $4.84. And a 15 pack of paper towels for $14.97. This is a box of 84 dishwasher detergent things for $12.29. Um, these are a 5 pack of macaroni and cheese. We're getting two of those for $9. Well, $4.50 each, $9 total. Um, some Fig Newtons for the snack basket, that's $4.48. Rice Krispie Treats for the snack basket, these are boxes of 40, they're pretty big boxes, and each box is $8.98. And a box of little bags of chips, One this was $9.98, but I'm going to have to get more in the store because they didn't have very many online that we could order. I started checking out and it turns out they don't, oh, uh, now that's out too, they didn't have the, um, paper towels and so I was gonna have to pick them up in the store which would be a hassle to do the pick up in the store when I'm already do other shopping so I came back to delete that out of my cart which then I will just buy it with my other stuff at the store but now I'm checking out again apparently I'm too late and I can't get the chips so those are gonna have to go on my other shopping list too so that now brings us down to 163.48 
ordering from Azure Standard here and I still can't get my butter so I'm going to have to give that at Walmart but I'm getting a book on saving seeds for $20.95. I'm going to order some oregano seeds and then a 50 pound bag of flour and I think with my shipping it's going to be like $58, right under $58. Amazon. I'm going to order some dishwasher salt. This is going to be four pounds, a little four and a half pounds for $14.99. And um, I was watching some TED Talks by this author the other day, and so I want to read her book. So I'm ordering this book. Like we do have some this time, so we're gonna grab two boxes of those. Margaritas put in a little patio area. I think they're gonna put tables there. If they do, we might have to come there for a date night. just have the crispy chicken sandwich with no tomato on it. The crispy chicken sandwich with no tomato on it? Yes. Alright, give me one second. Anything else for you? Uh, maybe some water, please. Uh, what was that? Some water. A cup of water? Yes. Alright, chicken shoot a cherry or an apple turnover today for dessert. <laughs> they are, but I don't want one. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Your total is 513. Thank you for your order. I invite you to the window. here in front of Joanne and enjoy this yummy looking sandwich real fast. Well, this looks like what Mr. Asher ordered. Thank you. 
A team member has been called to assist you. I think I'm going to have to take this home for Mr. Justice. on our nature shelf told the little tiny things we've already started doing that um, with some things that we've got and they work just nice for little tiny nature items The total at Office Depot was $76.63 for those two boxes of file folders. And then at Joanne, I spent $62.02. Now we're at Walmart, which is our last stop of the day. And um, before I go in, I'm going to just mention a few things or I guess answer some questions. Um, we go to Walmart, try to go to Walmart once a month. And um, this is where I get things that I can't get at my local grocery store or that are just significantly cheaper here than my local grocery store so we get um, all of our household goods basically like our paper towels and um, toilet paper and things like that and um, you know personal items like deodorant and toothpaste and things and then of course stuff for the house because we can't get that at our local store and then for food we generally get um, like some dairy things like some cheeses yogurts um, I get frozen chicken tenderloins here but I buy most of my meat at our local store um, snack type things I get here because they're a lot cheaper and soda I get here um, I get most of my baking supplies in bulk from Azure Standard and so and I try to get my butter from there, but as you all know if you've been watching for months, that has not been working out. So I'm going to be getting butter here today. And, um, what else? Generally though, someone asked today why I don't do my weekly trip for this week here at Walmart rather than our local store. And the reason is several, <laughs> several things. One I've already mentioned is I have a really hard time fitting everything in the cart as it is when I come here to Walmart. So, um it's difficult getting uh, the weekly groceries at the same time I'm getting the monthly groceries if that makes any sense also there's the routine aspect of it that on Thursday nights when Tom makes pizza for everyone the kids and I always go to the local store for our weekly groceries and that's the day that I pay the kids for their chores and then they like to buy little treats and things at this store so it'd be a bummer for them if we like skipped that for a week because it's just part of our happy routine of life and the other thing is is that we live in a small town with a thousand people and our grocery store there is such a blessing and I would it would be awful if we didn't have it and so I really try to support them even if it's a little more expensive for certain things um, 
saving money isn't my only goal in life. My goal is more to have money for the things that are important to us. So we might spend money on things that other people be like, why would you spend money on that? Because for us it's an important thing and for me it's important to keep our grocery store open so I'm willing to spend a little extra sometimes to you know, do my part to ensure that happens. And I'm not about um, just, I'm not about scraping by and buying, um, I don't know, <laughs> like for instance, secondhand shopping. Someone asked once why I don't buy all of our clothes secondhand. The reason is because we don't live in a place where there's like a lot of secondhand places. And since we all wear matching clothes, um, it's a real big hassle to try to go over and over and over again to get what I want. And the shirts and things are really still only like a dollar cheaper than buying something new here at Walmart. So to me, the convenience of just going to one place and getting what I need and um, being ensuring that we all have matching clothes, that's important to me. So I'm willing to pay a little bit more for that. And so it, I guess it's just about budgeting. Budgeting your money isn't about it's not about like pinching pennies constantly. It's just about allocating things to where you find value, I guess. What was the other thing? I feel like there's some other thing that I was gonna talk about, another question, but now it's escaping me. The last thing I'll mention is that this, as I said, is not where we buy most of our like fresh fruits and vegetables and things like that. That's what we get at our local store. So um, unless I see like a really spectacular sale or they have something here that I probably can't get in town, then I will just, I don't shop that part of the store. Um, I'm here to get the things that I really need to get and try to get a month's worth of it in the cart all at once. I just remember what the other thing was. I'm going to be picking up shoes today for the boys and for Claudia. And someone asked me why if we considered spending more money on shoes rather than buying Walmart shoes. And so I'm going to just um, say that I've actually done that in the past and it has, I've come to the conclusion basically that I expect a pair of shoes to last $5 a month basically. So if I buy a $40 pair of shoes, it might last for eight months. A $20 pair of shoes maybe is gonna only last for four months. But in the end, it all kind of works out even. And when they're smaller, like at Thomas's age, he's not growing so fast, but when the kids are little, half the time they've outgrown a pair of shoes before that eight month time period would have come around anyways. So, and we live in rural Wyoming, so there are not, we don't have a Sam's Club. That's a question I get all the time. It's 115 miles away. Um, Costco is 265 miles away. We don't have really a lot of clothing stores here. Um, and if, even if we did, I don't want to spend a lot of money in clothes because kids grow really fast and they get stains and things. So I would much rather spend my money at Walmart and get, um, less expensive items. So we just do what makes sense for us where we live and I realize that where you live might be completely different and something else might make more sense for you. But um, yeah, this is how, this is what makes sense for us. And that's all the questions I think I needed to um, answer. So let's go on in and start shopping. <music> Price basket. 
I'll get you this for Miss Eden for Christmas. We'll set this aside. It's only seven dollars for the little set here. Putting stuff into this little mailbox. shoes do this. Need new insoles. She would have asked for gray or tan slip-ons. So those will work for him. Get these ones for Mr. Asher. These for Mr. Thomas. came around the corner and saw all these Wrangler shoes on sale for five dollars. I think we're gonna redo some stuff here. For five dollars I think I might as well get Justice a pair while I'm at it and just put back the inserts because they were four dollars. Buck, we can get Miss Claudia the same shoes but in a bigger size, so it'll be perfect. There have been some people concerned about um, Walmart shoes having the jelly shoes having lead in them. Um, I was doing a little reading about that, and when they took brand new shoes from Walmart and tested them, there was no lead in them. So the theory is that it's not the shoe itself that has lead in it, it's lead dust that's probably collected from walking around on city streets. So um, if that's something that's been concerning you, if you read that, maybe you can have some peace of mind. There we go. And these ones will be for Mr. Solly. I don't think I'm going to find any dark green shoes with light red spots on them. Maybe the red inside will make him happy.
Tom needs like 10 of these because we're completely out, but I don't have room today, so I'm just gonna get a couple and then we'll have to stop by another day and get some more. once a month method so we still get everything I need <laughs> even if 
you know, sometimes it's difficult because like I had to have an extra pair of hands so they had to push a card out for me. But um, anyways, I still just get everything on my list, but somehow just coming in once a month has saved us so much money. So um, I will probably always stick with this, at least as long as we have lots of kids at home. So now I am going to head home and we'll see. I might go ahead and let you guys watch the kids bring in the groceries today because I know some of you guys enjoy watching that. Yep, we got it. Guys, thinking that you might not remember to do it. 